Hey guys, see from Les Clements here, Black Dragon Kung Fu. Thanks for watching. Just working on some basic drills with the wing and some two man exercises as well with mostly Wing Chun related stuff, or Chong Kien rather. So, I'm just gonna let it roll for a minute. Alright, so a little bit smoother. To the hands, soaking under the hedge, soaking over the hedge. The hedge is the metaphor for resistance. If it's too much resistance, you go under it or over it. If it's not enough resistance, you go through it. Too much resistance to go through is common to what's to be expected. Circular motion under the hedge and over the hedge. All right. This is what it looks like. Here we go. Down. As I come here, down. Mm. Here's the drill. So if you punch, right? See, I'm controlling. Mm -hmm. Control. See? Okay. I'm gonna set this punch here, boom. Just like that. Yeah, this is fine right here. Alright, now go ahead. Mm hmm Yeah, do the ball. Yeah, do the ball. Really? Make it tight where it feels like when I start punching, go ahead. Where it feels like my hand is stuck. I don't like this. There's pressure here. See, mm. I can feel that as a joint lock. If, if I'm not gone and punching, see, mm. so you want to be a bomb here. So just roll back this way, like this. See, now just roll it up. One, mm. two. There we go. Now this is going to come down. And that comes up. There it is. There you go. That up just like that. There you go. Put your elbow and wrist right there. All right, and go. Boom. And when you go to that low bomb, bring it on top of my hand. So go ahead and roll that up. I'm not going to punch yet. Right here. See this? Uh-huh. Now you're poised. Remember this move, right? Mm -hmm. You're ready to twist with woo and elbow. So wrist to wrist, elbow to elbow. There you go. Now go. There it is, roll. All right. Let me see this real quick. Mm -hmm. Like I said, punch this one. Elbow to elbow. See how tight this gets right here? Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing. Okay. Is the motion. So without the ring, here's the drill. So give me a punt. Same thing. This is one of the things the ring teaches. I'll come down fuk sao for Wing Chun, right? He punches with the other hand. Wu Bong. So there's an arm lock here. Okay? The punch, of course, is coming. Break. Break. So keep in mind, fast committed punches, there is no break, okay? But committed hard pushes, shoves, stiff arms, heavy jabs, yes. Okay, it has to be trained properly though. All right, here we go, punch, right here. Hook on, he punches. Hook on, he punches. Tight. We want it tight. Tight as we get it. All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. All right, bomb this out. All right, make it tight. Ready? Turn it. There you go. Now roll. Stiff. All 
Uh huh. Go, go down, go. Hook this down. I want to feel this pressure here. Yes, yeah, so I'm feeling that. See, if I don't bend my elbow here, could be in trouble. That's the other thing. Stiff arming can get you in a lot of trouble with joint lockers. All right, so he pushes. Okay, catch this ball. Switch it this time. Push it. Next one. There it is. Down. This is the trick, is this one is going to ride this way. Feel that lock right here? This is tight. See? Mm -hmm. See, I want to get my hand out of there. Yeah, see, because if I don't, see, I start getting trapped. See, here's not crossing your hands with Wing Chun. Very important, because this is exactly what this is trying to do, is to force the opponent to cross the hands. So understand with trapping, you don't put a trap on someone. You don't put them in a trap. Your opponent has to trap themselves. And you can never rely or count on trapping, especially in a fight. But we drill it because it is very likely in super close quarters. Long range too. Infinite possibility, but we just don't want to count on too much. We train to the best of our ability. So if you see he's using Wu Bong, he's using two points to counter my punch. Wu Bong. Now he's going over the hedge. If we talk in snake language, he hooks down and twists. See? It's a tight little hook there. That's good. See, it sandwiched my fist in there. So right here, stick right here before you get here. Stick to here. So go to bomb. This is here. And then go where you were going when I punch. And twist bomb. There you go. See? Now roll it up. Punch. Yes. Almost. You don't want to hook this up too soon. So go to bomb first. And then get clear bomb like that first. See? Here's another pressure break. Right? Wooden dummy as well. All right. Here we go. Now roll it up. Okay. There you go. See here? You get deep under here, you can get a lot of control. You get up underneath your opponent, like, see, he's under the base. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, so drop this down a little more when you twist. Mm -hmm. Just like this. See that angle? All right, mm -hmm. ready? There it is. All right, so what starts to happen is we start to develop this hook. So see how you're coming here? Now we go a little deeper into this. What you want is you want this. Now if he gets this hook here, I've got some problems because he's got my arm in here. I can punch him, but he's got this hand. And if he grabs this hand, he can pull it and he can make a mess by letting go and hit me with an elbow or whatever with this hand. A lot of stuff that he can do. So the technique, move on, he punches. Move on. Here's the technique. See? Roll right here. Roll down and block. Roll. Okay? So to try it, so try the technique I just did. Mm -hmm. All right, they're tight. Okay, so roll this underneath. Okay, so watch when he punches. Punch it this way. Okay, this is what I'm trying to do. Now, if he pulls his hand back while I'm doing that, that's why this is here. I'm gonna continuously try to catch, see? <laughs> now, he can punch faster, but he's still gonna run into it. It'll feel like mud, like tar, right? So keep in mind, this is gonna happen from this type of space where our hands are moving. This is not gonna be something that's gonna happen from a long range out here right away. This is a different realm. This is for more once we're here. So if he punches, I go fuxiao, roll, press. Now I've attempted a lot. I may not get it for if this comes up and this hand is here to block. Yeah, so see already he's resisting by pulling back more. There it is. tightening up. So hook that and take it up under the arm. Same arm. Mm. Not on <clears throat> you woo sound. Now hook. 
same model. Yeah, 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 see? Now under the head, bring it up. Yeah, see, now that's tight, right? Give me my arm back, see? <laughs> <laughs> there we go, all right, and so now he's got my arm trapped. Now he's starting to get the trap. Now my hand is up, so if he, he's got my hand trapped, so if I try to punch him, he can counter, he can block. Now he can grab this hand if I can't get it out, and he can trap me. So that's why I'm important with Wing Chun, fast. Okay, so what happens if you have an opponent that's doing this fast, real high level speed against that? Same thing, Wing Chun, Chun Kien, we're applying the pressure forward, just like Pak Sao. You know it doesn't matter how fast your opponent's chain punching, Pak Sao can smother it. And that's what we're doing, same thing. So if he punches, regular speed, see, I'm on the line, if he punches fast, still on the line because I'm pressing in and forward. Now if I was pressing side to side, he'd be hitting me. See? So everything is on the line, controlling. So we're sticking and controlling the line, that's the goal, okay? Will we always be successful? No. That's why we practice it. All right, so give me the wound ball. All right, go ahead and wrap it up. Yep. Yes. Yeah, see, now I'm having to really get my hand out of there. I'm having to punch faster to keep him from locking it. Okay, so twist a little bit more. See, now the normal action, when I go here, the normal action of pulling back is hindered by the way he's hooking and the delay in getting this hand out, you see? And he twists it right back. Pow! All right, wrap it up. Mm -hmm. Yep. So it's not as easy to pull back when your hand is getting wrapped. Okay, generally the Wing Chun rule, someone blocks like this, sewing machine cuts right through, very valid. But if the hand is connected and there's a wrap going on, it's not as easy. So for example, if he were gonna wrap me with that technique, he's gonna wrap my technique with this. If he wraps to put this into his arm, like this, this is the technique, right? So if I avoid that, if he wants to wrap that, when he wraps, I go around. See? Wing Chun 101, Jeet Sao, running hand. Jeet Sao, Jut Sao. Okay? I punch, he goes to wrap, I roll right around. And I punch through. If the hand is up, you can grab. Okay? So thanks for watching the video. If you found this helpful, click the like button. Even better, subscribe. And we appreciate your uh, contributions on Patreon. All right, see you less comments out.